Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I have a pile of stuff over here and we're gonna be doing a Zaful try-on haul. So this wasn't sponsored, but at the same time, Zaful did send me this stuff for free to review for you guys. So let's just get right into it. So when I was picking the items on Zaful, I did wanna pick a little bit of everything so I could give you a more well-rounded review rather than just like, oh, the t-shirts are great or something like that. So I did try to get tops, bottoms. I got a swimsuit too. I got a, an accessory here and then I got makeup brushes because I feel like a lot of people go on those kinds of websites to find cheap makeup brushes. Okay, so there are a lot of packages within packages. If you can see here, all of these are packaged individually. So this is what they look like once they've all been taken out of their plastic container. So as you can see, they do have an iridescent kind of thing going on on the handle thing. I don't even know what you call it, I'm so bad. When I touch them, I'm kind of surprised at how smooth they are. These are super fucking smooth. Okay, so next up I got a pack of rings and as far as I understand and recall, they're supposed to be stackable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on my fingers in some type of way and show you what they look like. Okay, so this is what they look like. I'm sorry for my band-aid. So you see there's some here, some here here, here, and then here. These two at the bottom are mine though. Um, they seem pretty good quality for the price. They are really cheap. They're definitely gonna turn blue or green if you don't put any nail polish, clear nail polish on it, but I do think that they're good for the price. Okay, so let's get into the clothing. So most clothing comes in a bag like this, and then it has a little zip thing like this. So I do like the packaging. Um, obviously it is a cheap type of brand so the packaging isn't going to be amazing but I do like this kind of packaging just so it's separate and it's clean and it seems neater. So this is the first item. It's a lace up crop top. Uh, the string is at the bottom so I'm going to have to lace it up myself but this is what it looks like. I really appreciate that the back has this stretch fabric so like you're not going to be super tight in it and it's off the shoulder in a bar dough cut and you'll be able to see that better when I put it on. The fabric is actually really nice considering the price. Um, it does feel sturdy and it doesn't feel like after one wash it's gonna fall apart contrary to some other brands. So I'm gonna lace this up and we'll try it on. Okay, so overall I don't think this top is bad. One thing I hadn't noticed is that right here, there's a zip which is good because although the back is stretchy, when you put it on, this thing is not stretchy. It's only this back part that's stretchy. Aside from that, the thing is like with the lace up, you can't actually pull on it because otherwise it just gets all screwed up. I can show you. Like if I undo this and try pulling on it, look what happens. See, like you don't want to go out like that. So the lace up is just for show. It doesn't actually do anything. The strings are pretty long, so I'm probably gonna cut them to avoid Droopsville with this, I don't know. Other than that, I kind of, I like it, but at the same time, I kind of feel like a medieval maiden with these poof sleeves, like they're cute and everything. I just don't know, I don't know how I feel about it on me. I don't know, like does this say medieval maiden gone wild or something to you? Cause it kind of says that to me and I'm kind of here for it, but also kind of not. Okay, so next up we have this skirt that has a lace detail over here. So it's kind of supposed to be like a split and your thigh will be here. On first impulse, looking at it, it looks longer and kind of not exactly what I was expecting. Like I see how it's similar to the picture, but I'm not sure it's exactly the same. And maybe when I wear it, it'll look more like it. Another thing I've noticed is that here there's a loose string. There's a loose string over here. I don't know if you can see it, which isn't a big deal, but still something to note. Um, it does have a zip on the side uh, and it is quite stretchy. Um, so that's good. The quality is not bad because it is thick and it is double layered with the lace. So there's lace inside. It's not just inserted at the bottom over here. So that's pretty impressive. Um, and it'll definitely hide any kind of underwear line, I'm guessing. So we'll see how that looks on and decide. Okay, so this is what the skirt looks like. Here you can see the split with the lace. Uh, there's the buttoning detail over here. Honestly, I don't know if I'm remembering incorrectly, but on the model it seemed shorter, whereas for me, like, 
the lace does almost cover my knees, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's just not what I was expecting. Aside from that, it does feel a little bit ill-fitting, like around the waist, it, see, like, I don't know. And I think on the back it looks okay, but I feel like it's still kind of ill-fitting. I definitely like the style, but I feel like there's something off to me. But other than that, I do think that this is a nice skirt. I would be very careful with the sizing, though, and to make sure that you're okay with it being lengthier, because I remembered it being a bit shorter. So I wanted to get a little bit of everything, so I got this workout set. So here is the top. They're both a gray kind of camo. So the good thing about the top is that it's reinforced here, so there's no wire or anything, but there is a pad, so it's not like your nipples are gonna be showing. Uh, it is stretchy, definitely stretchy, and the fabric feels a good kind of thick, like a quality thick. This band right here reminds me of the Nike pants I was just using at the gym, so good quality on this. These are the bottoms, uh, they're just basic leggings. I do wish that this band up here had been a little bit thicker just because see the band of the bra? It's pretty thick whereas this one is a lot smaller which is fine but I would have preferred that. It also feels relatively luxurious if that makes sense and it is definitely stretchy. We're gonna see how it is when I put it on to see that in the butt area if I were to squat it wouldn't be showing everyone everything. Okay, so in terms of bra top, I really like this. It's super supportive, it's nice and stretchy, it's really comfortable and really easy to get on. Sometimes you just put it on and you already know it's good, and that's how this one feels, so I'm super impressed with the bra. Really like it. Um, I definitely think that this is something I'm going to be using at the gym. Now, <laughs> let's get into the leggings. So, the leggings... Um, they fit fine and everything, but while I was putting them on, while I pulled on them, I could actually see my tattoos. So I, I can show you the back and I'll blur it out if it's too much, but if I bend down, you're definitely going to see ass city. So beware of that. So this is what the back looks like. I don't know if you can see too much, but when I looked closely, I could see. So they're really comfortable, and perhaps the best thing to do is to wear these kind of lower-waisted, just so like they are less stretched out, if that makes sense. They're really comfortable, and I would totally wear these at home. I'm just saying beware for the gym, because these could be, these could be a liability, okay? Then I got this little crop top, which I've been seeing this kind of style a lot lately, that says, are we having fun yet? Um, it is very thin material, so I would suggest, if not wearing a strapless bra, to wear um, nipple covers under this because it is very thin. The good thing is that it is super stretchy too, so that's good news. Uh, the straps are well sewn in, so in contrary to other ones where I've seen like the straps look like they're about to fall off, so that looks good. Um, yeah, overall I'd say that one of the only things I'm kind of concerned about is washing this and seeing how long the lettering stays on. Okay, so this is the next top. It's not as stretchy as I liked when I put it on, but it's honestly everything it says it's supposed to be. Um, the straps are good. I'm not really sure how I feel about this neckline. I don't know if it looks good on me. I'm really particular about necklines though. The text looks good. If I stretch it, can you see my tattoo over here? I can't tell on screen. Hopefully you can't see anything up here or else I will have to use something to cover it. So I got another set and this was kind of daring because I had a feeling it might not look great on me. So it's a two-piece set and I, it's kind of pajama-y, loungy. So this is the top and it's kind of satiny as you can see with the lighting. So this is the top that has adjustable straps, so that's cool. Um, it's definitely not stretchy just because that's this kind of fabric isn't stretchy. And then it comes with these short bottoms. Uh, so it is super stretchy as you can see, like it looks super tiny like that, but it is stretchy. And looking at it in the light, it looks like it might be kind of transparent, but that's something we can look at after. Style-wise, these definitely match the picture. It's just a question of seeing if the measurements are accurate and if it actually fits me. Okay, so here there's the two-piece set. So here there's the silky top. This is what it looks like. And then 
here are the bottoms. So I do feel like this lives up to what is advertised. I do think that the band up here is super stretchy, so that's really good because look, you can be this much bigger and still be in, fit in here and you can be way smaller than me and also fit. So that's great. One thing to note is that these are cheeky, so I know that you're probably not planning on wearing these out, I don't feel like, but if you were, let's just check the back because this back looks nice and everything and I'm sure if you're wearing it with your significant other at home, it'll start a good time, but it's, I'd say, be careful if you're wearing this around maybe people who you don't want to see your ass cheeks when you bend over. But overall, I think this is super cute and it's a really cute lounge set, although I, f there's something weird about how this fits, like the fact that it's super baggy. Maybe if it were a bit tighter like this? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Next up, we have a little crop top. This crop top looks tiny, but if you can see in the detail, it's that kind of mini ruches almost, and it's a bardo cut, so you can pull on it and stretch. So I really like this kind of cut and fabric, which is why I chose this one. And I think that this is super cute and super easy to wear. I don't really see anything going wrong with this, but when I wear it, we'll figure that out. So this is the next shirt. Uh, I really like this crop top. It's super comfortable, super stretchy. I really like how it looks. Um, one thing that is great about shirts like this is that it's really hard to go wrong because it's essentially just stretchy fabric so even the sizing is um, more flexible than a normal top. One thing I don't like is do you see the stripe over here that it's going up and then it disappears so it's kind of like eh, kind of wonky which I hadn't realized at first and it probably won't bother me that much but that's kind of something that I'm uh, meh about. Okay so for some reason I know that I had ordered a swimsuit but it's not here so I don't know, maybe I guess they ran out of stock on that. Anyways, the last thing is this dress. So as far as I recall, this was supposed to be like a velvet dress, and I don't know if to you it looks like velvet, but if you look at this close up, you can tell that it's not velvet as much as it's like some kind of thick satiny thing. So that's definitely... A problem. Now I, I'm gonna put an insert here just to see if it was meant to be velvet or if it's my memory that's failing me. Other than that, this fabric feels kind of heavy and this fabric, being completely honest, hits me as the kind of fabric that accentuates everything you don't want it to. So now we're gonna try it on and see if I'm right. So this is the dress I was scared of. This is what it looks like on. And I think that from far, at least from how I can see the display, it looks okay. But obviously either the sizing is off or I fucked up because there are these little wings on the side which I could do without like this. See, like, I just clipped this. Um, aside from that, the fabric isn't as bad as I thought on, though I still don't like it. Another thing that's interesting is I like this slit a lot. Look at how wrong this can go. Like this opens, like that, and your underwear is showing, like open in the other direction, which I'm not gonna do, but you know what I mean? So like going up the stairs is potentially a danger. I feel like it should have been stitched like somewhere over here to make sure that the slit stays at this length and doesn't get, you know, bigger and broader. Uh, other than that, this isn't as bad as I thought. It's also not the greatest thing known to man. Oh, geez. I didn't even see how it looked in the back. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit nunnish in the back. Wait. Yeah, so the back is doing nothing for me and everything I've said so far, like the dress is nice, but the back I feel like is actually kind of damaging to the dress. Like it makes it seem like there's nothing back there. The back, ideally, should have been something like that. Where at least like it looks like there's something back here, you know, like there's a butt. But here it's just like, psh, like a depressed butt. I don't know, I mean, I'm depressed, but my butt isn't as far as I know, so. That's unfortunate. See, like, this part looks good. The rest is kind of unfortunate, so this is the one that I probably wouldn't really recommend. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's the end of the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I know a lot of you were asking me for extra hauls. Let me know what you thought about all the different clothing. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons, as always, and let's get straight into the fan art.